Well, good morning, YouTube. All right, it's Wednesday morning. Looks like the crews have been out here getting ready to block off the street. So hopefully, not too much more time at all, we will be able to move into our spot. Here they've got 23rd Street blocked off already. This here is Seawall Boulevard, where we will be set up at. And as you can see, they've got it blocked off down that way. And they've got it blocked off down that way. And we should be sitting right here in the middle of the intersection. And it actually looks like they did it right this time. They blocked off the side streets first. What we've seen in the past is to block off the main road. But cars keep coming on the side streets and turning into the blocked off street with no way out. At least this time they did it smart. They blocked that off so that nobody can even turn onto the road. So I think right now, Talon and I are gonna get the motorcycles unloaded again and get Goliath moved over to this far corner, right over there. So that when they give me the go, I can make the right hand turn onto the road without any obstructions. But if I sit back where I'm at, it's likely that more people will pull in ahead of me and get on that curb. And then I won't move it through and make the turn. You see cars up there making the U-turn. Because one thing they don't do is put a sign down here on this end of the road, letting people know that the road is closed up here. There's a side street coming in up this way. If they just put a road close sign down there, that would stop people from even coming up here. They can make the turn onto the side road instead. Guys, about 10 minutes after eight, we got Goliath moved over to the intersection. All the bikes are unloaded and in the hotel parking lot. Unfortunately, it looks like the Hotel Clarion there is not going to be open this year. Normally it is, but apparently there were some bad storms a few months back. The roof collapsed on it and uh, lots of water damage inside, so no stairs there. Control is putting the barricades up, so we will be on this side of the barricade, and they'll still allow traffic to go through the back side of the barricade once everything's in place. All right, guys, it's about 10 till 9 now, and we just got the go-ahead to move into our spot. So I had that truck over there at the corner moved just so I get around it. We're gonna move in and get parked. They did ask me to wait a little while to start setting up though.
All right, so now we're in our spot. See Hot Leathers is moving into their spot now, coming along up behind us. They're gonna go up towards the other end. D&D exhaust just showed up. This is the first time I've seen this new rig. He didn't have the Peterbilt before. This is pretty cool. And Amanda is here taking Jessa for a walk before we start our setup. And it uh, looks like uh, Chip has just arrived as well. All right, guys, we gave them the time that they asked us for. So now it's go time. We're putting up awnings. All the vendors are also putting up awnings. I'm up here on the roof of Goliath now, and I realize that because they moved us, we have a problem. Normally, we're lined up with this intersection, and they moved us back about 40 feet. The problem with that is, my gangway right here, that I used to flip over the walk between the roof of Goliath and the roof of the trailer, I can't flip it over because I got a stoplight right there, and it hits. So we have to do the hard way. I'll have to use a ladder to get up under the roof of the trailer, and I won't be able to just run back and forth between the two. The guys got the awning set up over there. I'm unbundling everything here. Getting it ready. Unbundling. It just sounds funny. Unbundling. Alright, canopies are up. Now it's time to uh, start unloading all the big heavy stuff. Alright, just a little bit after noon and it looks like we are pretty much set up. Talon and Chip are running some lights over there because we are open late at this rally until at least 9 o'clock, sometimes 11-ish. So we're going to need light where we haven't needed it the last few shows. But yeah, batteries are out, love jokes are out. Looks like all of the shelves are stocked. All the table stuff is stocked. Yeah, I think we made pretty good time this time. Well guys, it's about 3.30 now. Chip's over here working on his bike, throwing some new shocks and suspension on the back of it. We got another set from uh, Joey when we were in Panama City Beach. I guess he left a set of CVO Road Glide shocks from a 2024. So Chip's gonna slap them on his bike and hopefully be a big improvement over what he had. Other than that, we've been done for hours. We're just literally waiting for the electricians to run cords behind Goliath so that we can plug in. They've got some leads back there, but there's no outlets. They're just going from here down to someplace else. The tent next to us has power. They put outlets there. They didn't put any outlets behind my tent. They don't know why. Hi guys, Randy from A10 Moto. Stop by. They're the guys that do the, uh, the Baja Motorsports lights on there. Looking forward to getting mine done tomorrow. Awesome. All right, guys, it is now about 10 till 6. I finally got tired of waiting for them to run power for me, so uh, 
they actually had the cords coiled up down there by D and D. So I went ahead and grabbed the cords. I ran the cords myself. I plugged into their system that they'd already had the lead started and got us up and running. Uh, now, I mean, that was like an hour ago, but now I think we are heading out for dinner. I think we're gonna get some pizza or something. Yeah, I think we're gonna go get pizza. You see, there's still vendors trying to get set up. Some of them just pulled in, those mobile sound system people. They just pulled in about an hour ago or so. But a lot of the leather vendors and apparel people, it just takes them time. All right. Your key, madame. Thank you, sir. Hi guys, so we made it down to Russo's, just down the street where Broadway and Seawall kind of meet together. And uh, we've had pizza here before. It's pretty good. So we're going to try it again. And uh, I think we're going to close this video here. I know it's kind of a short video, kind of a boring day, just set up, nothing special. But uh, it's what we had to do today. So we included you guys on it. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And until the next time I see you. Keep those engines running. What she said. Hello. Hello, guys.